Well, today, Colorado State University releasing a revised 2024 hurricane outlook. Yeah, they are forecasting a slight increase in hurricanes expected this season. Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins joining us now with the latest on this report that we were just talking about there, Bobby. Yeah, and this is typical. They issue their first one in April, mm -hmm. then they issue an update in July, which they just did today. And no surprise here, the water is still really warm. It's cool a little bit, but they're going more storms than what they even forecasted in July or in I should say April. So let's take a look at the numbers. You can see them behind me right now. I put the averages here as well. So in an average year going back about 15 years or so, we get 14 named storms in April. Colorado State said we get about 23. They've bumped that up to 25 named storms. That means a tropical storm at least right of those. We would get 12 hurricanes and then of the 12 hurricanes, we'll get six major hurricanes cat three or higher. Both of these numbers went up by one compared to what they had back in April. Now, obviously the water is the big deal. So this is the fuel for the fire. It's the gas for the fire, right? But not only making storms, but the, the rapid intensification, the records that barrel set for the strongest systems, just East of Lesser Antilles, a cat four in June, a cat five in July. This is not the time of the year that we see those, but with that warm water, we already saw it. Now, on top of all this, these blue lines getting taller, August, September, October, that is La Nina developing. La Nina means less wind shear. So when something does try and bubble up out there, we have less wind to blow it apart. That's what's going on, and that's why the numbers go up. There's what's left of barrel. You can see heavy rain through Illinois, parts of Indiana, Michigan as well. Guess what? No development the next seven days. In fact, that's probably going to go two weeks. And one of the main reasons why is all of this dust. We actually have it over top of us. We'll have it for the next several days, clearing out a little bit by the weekend. So it'll be hazy kind of sunsets when we do get the sun out. But that's great news for us. We want some of this around. It's pretty typical for the end of June and the beginning of July.